Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce two-way prepositions. In an earlier presentation, you were introduced to the interrogative adverbs wo, where, wohin, where to, and woher, where from. You will recall that interrogative adverbs ask questions about the location of an activity or its direction. For example, in the sentence here, wohin geht sie? Where is she going to? The interrogative adverb wohin inquires about the direction of the subject of the sentence. We are reviewing these adverbs now because knowing how they function will help us understand our next grammar topic, two-way prepositions, a bit better. A two-way preposition, such as in, is so called because it can take either an accusative or dative object, depending on whether it describes movement or position. We'll go over the full list of these prepositions in a later presentation. So, if I were to ask the question, wo ist Petra? Where is Piet Petra? Which is a question about her position, I would need to use in with a dative object. Petra is in dem Haus. Petra is in the house. However, if I were to ask the question, wohin geht Petra? Where is Petra going to? Which is a question about her motion. I would need to use in with an accusative object. Petra geht in das Haus. Petra is going into the house. Two-way prepositions are useful in that they help us avoid ambiguity and confusion. For example, the sentence you see here, Hans is running behind the house, could have a few different meanings. Do I mean that Hans is in the front of the house and, hearing a noise in the backyard, runs quickly behind the house to find out what is making it? Or do I mean that Hans, who is independently wealthy and has a track in his backyard, runs there every morning to keep in shape? In English, both sentences would require more information to make the meaning clear. In German, the object of a two-way preposition makes the meaning clear. If the object is in the accusative case, motion is indicated. Position is indicated if the object is in the dative case. So if Hans hears a noise in his backyard and runs behind the house to find out what is making it, the object of the two-way preposition would be in the accusative case. Hans läuft hinter das Haus. If, however, he has a track in his backyard and runs around it to keep in shape, this activity is localized. To report the position or location of his activity, therefore, we would need to use the dative case. Hans läuft hinter dem Haus. Again, we'll go over the different meanings of the two-way prepositions in the following videos. Finally, thanks to the noun project artists whose images I used here to illustrate the concept of German two-way prepositions. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square, remix and share.